This tutorial is designed to assist you in inputting data um, for a paired sample t-test problem into SPSS. So first we will read the problem, then we will identify the variables that we will be inputting. So the problem reads as follows. You have been asked by the weight loss manager at Mission Slim Possible, a large weight loss center, to determine if overweight clients who jump rope for 15 minutes every day will experience significant weight loss over a two-month period. They randomly select 30 overweight clients at the weight loss center, weigh them, have them jump rope for 15 minutes every day for two months, and then weigh them again. Determine if there is a statistically significant difference at the .05 level between the pre-jump rope and the post-jump rope weights. Report your results in APA format. So we will note that our dependent variable is weight, and our independent variable is pre-jump rope and post-jump rope. You will note that when we were running an independent sample t-test, we would normally code these, like pre-jump rope would be coded as 1, post-jump rope as 2. For whatever reason, that is not how we do it with any time we're re using repeated measures like this, from pre to post. All we do is we take, the, um, we, we actually name the variables based on pre and post. So we'll come here, Let's go ahead and delete these variables, and we will we will take the first the first excuse me. Let's come back here. A little preview for other uh, other tutorials we'll be giving you. So we'll take pre jump rope and paste it in there. Looks like it doesn't well, let us do that, so we will type it in pre free jump rope and then we will have post jump rope and I'd like to we're not going to have decimals and we will note that this is scaled data because these are actually I should put these are pre jump rope weights is more apt more apt description and post jump row weights. We'll note that this is scale data because we're dealing with weight and then we simply clean that up a little bit clean that one up and then we will take this data here copy it for the pre jump rope weights and we will paste it in and then we will take the post jump rope weights copy and paste those in and now we are ready to run a repeated actually in this case a paired sample t-test 